Hello. You know what I decided to do? I just did a video and posted my little kits about for making signatures. And what I decided to do is I'm going to make one myself. I'm going to buy one myself so I don't have 10 only on that because I bought one myself. And so I'm going to show you um, in real time we're going to make one. And so I just put... Let's see, I just went through and I took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay, ten of the sheets. Okay, I don't think I'll use this one in the center. I want one that's a little bit more heavy in the center hold the stitching. Okay, now. So there's one signature. Do you see how they fit together? This is a jumbled junk journal signature. So although the pages are basically the same size, they're a little odd. Okay, then I'm going to go with another. Another, let's see, we're going to make the second signature. I'm going to do that again with Let's see, one, and I'm just kind of putting them in there, however they come, one, two, there's a piece of vellum for page three, four, and this is it. This is really neat paper. It's one of them disposable, um, part of one of the disposable, um, Place mats. Oh, okay, and so I'm going to put there's one of the dyed, coffee dyed um, ledger paper, and I'm going to put this is the dictionary page, and then here's this one that's sprayed. Okay, so now I got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. So far on the second, that's two signatures. And then we'll go this way. One, two. Ooh, where's some short ones? I'm going to get some short over oh, here. Three, four, I love these with these old pictures. Four, five, six, seven. have my little pages out of that torn book in here. I'm glad that I noticed that one. Yes, I have I have some or did I just lose them here? Let me see. These are here. Oh, and then the paper bags. Okay. Four. One, two, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, I'm missing. I'm missing some just a second. That package is me. I'll have to check all my packages. Oh, here they are. Um, because there's four of these. And so these are out of a country woodcraft magazine. 
Now we'll put those, uh, make sure one of them is in there. And see, that's a smaller page, and it's got a torn edge where I tore the pages out of the book. So that's going to go in there. And so then I have my paper bags, and I'm going to just fold that paper bag in half, and we're going to put that in. It's going to go in our book, in our signature, and okay, and then in this signature, let's go ahead and shove this one right there, and then here's one for, then let's see, let's put that one right here in the signature. So see, this is what you do first, is you get those pages and um, plop them in, plop them in somewhere. Okay, and then let's put one here. That was a, a fun book, Country Woodcraft, and it showed the images are so neat. Because the book is quite old. I think it was from the 60s. And, you know, I guess we'll call that quite old. Okay, let's put this one right here. Yeah, because 60s, I was just like a teenager. But, okay, so now, let me see. Oh, I had to get these. I'm going to get these here. Now. I, I didn't put a, oh yeah, that one's got the yellow bag, because there's four different color paper bags in there. So then, this one here, we'll give this blue bag, let that one live right in here. And see, I'm not doing anything, you know, as far as, just by only trying to, um, only, okay, yes, Papa? Oh, okay. Right. Oh, okay. That's gonna make a video right now. Okay. I'll have to come back later. Okay. Okay. Put this one here, and then this pink one. I'm going to put right here. Okay. Trying to keep myself busy. I just, I've had, I've had some days lately. Yesterday was Friday the thirteenth, you know. And some people say that's their lucky day. Some people say that it's their unlucky day. You well, know, for our family, it was pretty much unlucky because my son, my child, my known child, got in a really serious car accident. He's okay. Everybody in the car is okay. They are very bumped and bruised and concussions and that kind of thing. But there's no blood. That's thankful there's no blood and they're okay. And they've had their little they've had their little um you know, X rays and CAT scans and everything and, and they'll be if they just hurt. And that car's broke. No they ain't no way that car can be fixed. So, but they're okay. Okay, now, and in the kit, you also get a, um, you get a, um, this one's vintage. This is very old. Um, you get a skein of, of, uh, this, um, embroidery floss. And I use that to, to sew my signatures together. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll sew the signatures together and... Let me see if I can just reach over here to my pin cushion. My arm must have shrunk. I can't reach it. Okay, I've got a needle here. And I have... Now, you can punch your own holes with a... Owl, owl, owl. I can never say that word. A-W-L. My tongue doesn't work around that word. Owl. Now, this is my, now where's my puncher thing? I think I put that over there. It is. Okay, I'm going to use this to punch my holes, and but you can use all an ice pick, anything, and so let me see if I can scoot back just a little bit so you can, nope, 
That's not what I want to do. I want this. Okay. I think that's a little bit better. Um, I'm going to now I'll open this up. The signature. And I'm going to I'm going to put three holes, one at the bottom, one at the center, and just be sure and get it to fold, and one toward the top. Now I'm showing you the very simple way of doing this. And because I'm, the, even though I've made a lot of these, uh, I'm still a beginner. Now, I am a beginner forever. Because sometimes I've had to look at my own videos to see how I do things. Now I'm going to, I'm going to, let me show you. Do I have, uh, let's see, one thing you have to be is like sort of, organized when you do something like this and I'm not much organized. Okay, I thought I had a little crochet hook here. It's not in that cup. Okay, let's see if we can get that back on there. My table is wiggly. I'm sorry that that is as it is, but that is as it is. It's wiggly and so when I move around, I wiggle the table and then the camera's attached to the table, so um, it wiggles. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I can't find my crochet hook, but um, my little skinny one. But what you can do is you can just pull this through with a crochet hook, which is the easiest way. And the way I start is I go in the middle. And, and so I guess maybe I will use my needle. But I'm serious. If you have a crochet hook, you can just hook that through the punched holes. And um, I'm going to just put it in my needle here. Okay, and I'm going to use a double strand of it just so that, so that um, it's even that much more um, sturdy. Okay. Okay, now you can fast forward through parts of this video. I'm just kind of showing you. I, st I start in the center hole. And then I um, go through. And that because I want my strings to end up in the center. Okay. So there, see? And then I go back through that center hole. Oop, being careful not to pull them strings back through, which I just did. Did I? I did. I did. Okay. So then you just, you know, if you do that, well then we just start over. Okay. Through the center hole, out through the center hole, in through the bottom hole. back through the center hole, but hold these strings here so they won't go back through. And then into the top hole. And then when you come back, then here, you would um, tie this back in a knot right there in the center. I usually, I'll, you can do this from the back too so that you don't have this string in the center. But I always do it in the center because then I add hearts onto these strings and then I have heart strings. And I like heart strings. Okay. So that is one signature tied together. So there, see, that's how them pages will work right there. Now, I will sew each one of these signatures together. But first, I'm going to, I'm not going to do each one of them right now because I've got four of them. I'm not going to do them each right now because I'm going to go ahead and start using what comes in the kit to 
start embellishing my pages. So now in your pages, you can then, there's this one kit here. This, this, this part of the kit is all, um, this is all pieces of, let me put, these are pieces of cardstock. All right, so we're going to use these as pockets and tags. So, but also in the kit, you will find there's four of these pages that were made by a friend of mine, and they are um, are stitched together using um, old book pages. So what we're going to do here is I want to find a page. In here that I want to put this to and I think oh I think I want to put it on this dyed page yep that's where I want that there we go that is where I want that so I'm going to have my glue and I'm going to glue Glue this because this now is going to glue to that piece of paper, and that is my going to be my pocket there. And then what we have in here is so many different um, choices to use as as pockets, uh, not pockets. I'm sorry, um, tags. So. This one, look, here we can put a tag in this top pocket. See there how you can do this. Now, when you have this tag here, you, um, you can, you, I'm giving you just some ideas to make it into a tag. Cut one corner off. And then flip that corner off, use it over here as the pattern, flip it, and then use it as the pattern to cut this corner. You don't throw these away because you may use those as well. And then here is where you have now got the tag. And you can put, put a hole right in the center there, punch a hole. And then you can use a piece of your embroidery floss. I'll use this extra piece here. And you can put this on onto this tag to use as here. See? So now you can decorate this tag um, with some of the ephemera. Let me see. Where did I put that? Oh, I want to fussy cut real quick. I'm going to fussy cut. Uh, and, and you don't have to fussy. Oh, these are so flipping cute. Now, these ones, I think what I'll do is I'm just going to... Oh my gosh, this is where you have problems because you look at one side and the other side has got something just as pretty and so you don't know what to, what to cut. These is two little elephants and I am cutting the elephants like this way. Okay, I got those cut off of there. I'm going to put that on this tag, but I want it always to make it pop a little bit better. I'll take another piece of that card, and I will, I'm, let me see, maybe I'll, oh, maybe the yellow, maybe the yellow, I'd like the yellow a little bit better, I think. Yes, and so I'm going to 
I'm going to glue that and we'll put that on here. And, um, and then I will cut around here. And then I'm going to mat it again. So that's going to be two layers of mat. So I'll put that right there on that one and then I'm going to cut and I'm just kind of not even if you know pussy with cutting little scissors and if it's not exactly straight it's no big deal because this is a jumbo junk journal now isn't this adorable on this tag isn't that adorable I love that little down there okay so then we're going to that elephant it's Mr. and Mrs. Elephant because this is from the Noah's Ark set on the precious moments these are all precious moments images but this is adorable okay then where did I put that bottom that I cut off oh because it says elephants on there I'm gonna cut that word elephant And I'm going to then, okay, work with some papers. I'm going to put this little word elephants because underneath each one of those images, it shows, like here, this one, it says giraffes, pigs, Noah's Ark, nightlight, llamas, bunnies, sheep. And they tell you what they are underneath. I'd go to anywhere with you. <laughs> These are goats. These are so cute. Okay, and so I'm going to put that on this yellow first. That word elephants. And cut that. And then take the gray that I had. And I'm going to put that. Oh, wait a minute, that's a little not, not wide enough. Okay, I'll put that on here like this. And now one thing I'm not doing here that you can do is if you ink the edges, you can ink your edges. And I'm going to just put this in, you know, inking edges kind of just ages things. kind. Of, and we all like that look of aging, it seems like. So then there's a tag I can put right in here look at that let me see <laughs> come on go in your tag okay elephants okay so that's in there and then in the bottom pocket i will maybe go here and look into this packet that will be in your grouping and Maybe I'll just take one of these. This is fun. Just put one of those in there. One of those um, library cards. And then what is fun about the playing cards is the, some of them are just that one charades and they're different. But um, the pictures and the images on the outside are just gorgeous. And some of these are older than others. This is from an old deck right here. Let's see, then you can put that tag in there. And then, so, and you can put a third one in there. There's 12 tags. Okay, I mean cards. So then that page is finished there. Now, I'll put this back over here. Now, um, then you can make... Now, now, some of the pages, like this one, is probably really nice for journaling. But you don't have to save the whole page for journaling. You can, you can um, put a pocket. So here, now I can see that my page, I can see I put my page on crooked. But um, my page, I can see, is this wide. So I'm going to take 
and, and mark it with my thumbnail. And then I'm going to just cut this like this. Now this piece can still be used. It's a small tag. And I'm going to put this in as a pocket. Now if you have other things as well, you can use other things to decorate your pockets. Um, let me see. I have in, in the package is this type of a package that has got what you could maybe do is um, These are clusters already. There's already clusters in here. And so you can use them clusters for decorating a pocket. But here I'm going to use that cluster. And I'm going to glue this cluster right here on that pocket. Then for something in this pocket, maybe I would make another tag. And now see what I might do is since, well I didn't do that, but since I have four signatures here that I'm going to make out of this out of this um, collection I'm going to make four signatures there we go so there now I have another tag I'll put that in there I can decorate that later I don't have to decorate it right this minute but there we go see that and like I say, you could ink around. You can decorate these pockets in any way that you so choose. And um, sometimes I just go around with an ink pen and put stitches. <coughs> just some stitches. And you can go all the way around. <coughs> Excuse me. Like this with some stitches. That's what I'm doing anyway, is just stitches. And that kind of makes it, you know, um, it gives it just a little bit of, of course you can't see what I'm doing. There we go. Just put those stitches on there. And then you can even write a word. Now some people say, oh, I can't write my printing is terrible. And so then if your printing is terrible, then make it even more terrible. So if I'm going to write, um, let's see, let's just write the word believe. There's a B. Okay. Now you might not get your, se your second letter in line, so don't put it in line. And put E. And then put an L. And an I up here. E. V. E. There we go. And there it is. And it doesn't even have to be, um, you know, if you mess it up, hey, it's good. Messed up ones look better. And then let's put a card. This here card come from Moscow. Let's put that card in there. And um, let's see. And in this packet here too is, um, oh, it's got a few things. Here's, here's a pocket. This is a pocket that's made out of a book page. And this is kind of a wide pocket, so I'm going to need to have a wider page. Yeah, it'll fit on that one just fine. Okay, so what I'll do with this is I'm only going to glue the outside edge of this pocket. Having everything right here ready is really makes a big a big um a big help because all of your stuff is already i only glued the outside three edges here you can now add something to this pocket you can um maybe put a tag let's see what we have here Oh, here. You know, let's, let's see. I have this size is in there. And then I also have some of these tickets. 
So maybe, let me get a different color. So let's see. These tickets are perforated already. And so I'm just going to put, and these, you can paint them, you can um, print on them, you can uh, stamp on them, anything like that. You can put that there. Okay. Let's see there how I'm just kind of throwing them in there. I still do the work on them. Um, but look at this. When you're journaling, then you've got all of this space to journal on different sheets. On this sheet, you might just journal a little note right down here, or you might go up here in this. I didn't tear. I didn't take these strings off because for some reason them strings just kind of I like them. That paper bag that you put in there has left the pocket. And so then, now on the pages that we put in there for the pages, you can understand too that they can be used for, um, they can be used for taking apart and making, making different things too. You know, they don't, they don't have to be used for pages. You can, um, I maybe could make a little card out of this page like this. Maybe I would add something to that and maybe I would pop it in this um, bag or maybe I'll put that on the outside of the bag. And really when you're doing a junk journal, you know, um, you don't have to put a lot of thought. Things don't have to match or go along or whatever. And um, and so you, there's, you know, no thinking involved. So that makes this a real good therapeutic art project. Now, see, I just made like a little fold out here. And then um, I can uh, fussy cut an image or anything on here. Uh, use a punch out. Maybe I would maybe want to put a... a um, kick it on here and maybe I would write on this ticket as well let me see see I just had that pen here you see how I do things but you could oh there it is here let me, oh, I can't write on that one with purple I can't write on purple with purple so I'm gonna take one of these now see here, inked around that one would be awesome. But I'm just going to, I'm going to just put that ticket there. And then I'm going to write love. And there you go, see? So then that's a little clip out that I put on to this here pocket. You might just put in a piece of, paper, a piece of writing paper in that pocket. I love this vellum, how you can, um, now, now see how when you have a vellum page, I can see through it to here, and maybe I would make almost a frame here, so that when you turn the page, that that, the frame, you know, would go around whatever image is there. And then when you do a frame, let me see here. Now see, I have this little scrap piece of paper right there. And what I might do with that, got just a little scrap. And then let's just put that right there. And that just frames that corner, just the corner of that page. See there? And then maybe... Um, let's see. Oh, so many, so many ideas just, just pop up into my head. Oh, wait a minute. Where'd that other piece go? That should have a corner on it too. But I don't know where I put that. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to make one. I'm going to make a corner. I'll make a corner. This corner, I'm going to go and just make a corner. So I'm just going to cut it here across.
across the bottom up to about there and then I'm going to go up here about to there so it's all approximately now I may move another corner okay see now I'm going to glue that right here kind of frames that right there there now I'm going to take this ticket I'm going to put that ticket right here and then let me see I'm going to put this ticket that one's too big, so I'll make it smaller. And I'll put it right here. And this makes a patchwork frame. Patchwork is beautiful. Okay. And then maybe here I would write uh, maybe family. Okay, now, and also, you know, as you're doing something like this, again, you can go with, I'm going to put some little dots, maybe my purple ink is running low, and see what that did, how, how well, and then if you have something with white, you could put dots there. And so there I just put a frame on that, which frames, as you can see through, and that is fun. All right, then let's see. And then maybe, okay, I'm going to see those. Now, now and, and, and see how I don't just go from page... I, I flip through. I just flip through. So you'll have your, you'll have your, um, this is fun. Now this is a piece of vellum. This is just vellum. This is just, it, it's almost like a clear, clear vellum. Okay. So it's like a clear. I'm going to fold that over, give myself a little bit of, okay. So I just fold it over and made it uh, little tabs there, and then I'm going to put glue on the foldovers that I just did, just on those foldovers. And here I'm making a band, a belly band. So there we go. Now this, now if you have some stickers or something, you can put those on this belly band. But what I will do is I will use that belly band and use it as a little you can put, here's two cards that are gorgeous. These are, um, I forget the name of the artist that painted those. But they will stay in that belly band. But if you want to just be sure that they're not going to fall through, then you can take another piece of this card stuff. Here's a piece right here. And I'm going to glue just across the bottom of this little piece. That was just a little scrap piece. I didn't cut it to be any different or anything. And so I'll just put that there. Okay, see that? And then that makes almost like a little pocket for the little cards to that belly band. And see how you can see through that. So that's one way of making a pocket. Um, let's see. I think I want to use... Okay, now I only put four of these in, and I've got four signatures, so I want to save the others. I have four, I have four um, um, postcards, and so I want to use these as, I don't want to glue them down. Well, this one maybe I could glue down because it doesn't have any writing on the back. And so since there's nothing on the back, 
I might go ahead and glue that down to make a pocket. And so I will do that one. Now the ones that have actual writing and stamps on the back, those ones I would not glue down because I would want to just use them as something, a pocket filler to a pocket filler to um, so that you always can see both sides of the card. And so now this one here, that's just, that's just going to be a pocket. Okay. And so, and then, and when I show you these, these, this particular collection, oh, there's some brighter colors down here. There's different brighter colors too. But once you put a tag or something in there, then look at that. Then that's gorgeous. Okay. And then let's see how we're doing here. Now that's getting pretty thick. It's getting pretty wonderful. It's getting pretty awesome. Um, okay, so I think I've used all of those that I plan to use. I can still use a couple more of these cards on this signature. Um, one, two, or maybe not. Maybe I'll save those. Now, then another then some of these cards you might just flip them just fold them in half um let's see and again you have plenty of of these images these beautiful images oh my god i love these and i'm going to use these giraffes so I'm going to cut the giraffes out of that. They are so cute. You know, I was just thinking too. Now I'm going to just put those giraffes here. And you can put the word gira giraffes or you don't have to because everybody will know those are giraffes. Okay, and so maybe I would put that, oh, see now this here, it won't show so much right here because the colors blend. And so I would then take a, let's see, we'll take a darker piece and we're going to We won't put the whole thing on there. We're going to go ahead and and um, don't put a lot of thought into your jumble junk journal. Don't put a lot of thought because that is not our plan. That is not our goal. So I'm putting this. See, now when I work, I get everything discombobulated. can't find nothing. And they're going to. and we'll put that right there so cute and I was just thinking let me put that on that page and then I was just thinking I right? see I put I put all these other pages together but you do not actually I want to see if I have some of these pages before you put them actually together in the in the in the signature. You can maybe like this. You might cut parts of this out instead of using a page, or you can use it as a page. You have choices. Okay, this is the one I was thinking. Okay. This is the one I was thinking. Now, see, these are vintage pictures. And I love these. I love these. And so you could cut out. You could use one of these pages as your embellishments. And um, look at that. We can put this 
as an embellishment on that bag. See the hair on that paper bag. Now this actually is a flip on this bag. I should have really put this over here maybe, but I didn't and it's okay. But then you could put another something. Let's see, what do we have? I'm looking at all of these things that are in the... Okay, this is what I'm going to do on here. Is I'm going to take this, this piece and I'm going to completely put this right here at the top of that bottom, of the bo bag bottom. Okay, then I'm going to take another piece and I'll put it here. But on this piece, I'm only going to glue the bottom and the two sides. And then I'm going to put that right in here. And now that's a pocket. That's a pocket. So maybe I'll go ahead and put um, another. I wonder if a playing card would fit right in there. Yep, playing card. There's a, a card in there. Okay, let's see. But this is pretty much um, an idea. Let's see. In, um, here, I'm getting all of my stuff kind of just. Okay, this one's going to save for the other. Um, let's see. Oh, here. Now this my bags all in this in this here there'll be some kind of a greeting card in each one. These are greeting cards that I have made or started to make. Never finished them, but these are like some mixed media I did. I just cut them, put them in this part, and um and so what I will do with this is I'm just going to glue the very back piece of this one. Mm -hmm. And we'll put that right here. And then see how it opens. So more things can be added. Journaling can be added. Anything like that can be added. Okay, now... Now my signature is getting quite thick. Maybe here I would just put a cluster. Maybe I would put a cluster here. Now. Wait, this is all fabric. I don't know if that will... I would probably have to use fabric tack on there. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and put this glue here, though, and we're going to see. If this doesn't hold, then I'll get out my fabric tack, and I'll use that. But Or I could stitch it on. That's pretty right on there. When you put something like these clusters, especially the ones that have got the vintage colors, vintage button, and you put it on a vintage page, like this, it really, really pops. Looks so nice. And um, let's see how we're doing here. I'm going to put this in here too. Oh, that's nice right there. Okay. And so you just kind of flip back and forth. Okay. I think that's as far as I'll go to give you an idea of what to do with this kit. Now, already here I have um, my, my signature is quite thick with the pages. I've gotten a, a, full, a fold out there. And um, because these pages, I think, are already so, the ones that are stitched together with the, the sewing machine, I'm going to leave them like that. 
and then see how I cut that one vintage picture out of that page, put it there, made a pocket, vellum, and here I put the flip out card, and then here I put that three-way pocket there and with the cards, and then the um, cluster is here. But also when you get these, you can look at it and you can see how simply that these things are made and be able to make even your own. Now this of course is not finished. This needs a lot more love and attention from me, which it will get. Here's my postcard. And you don't have to make four signatures. You can just make two signatures if you want to wear one great big one and then all your stuff would go in one i mean you can just make one signature with everything but um yeah i think i want to cut out another one of my um images here and because these are put on because these are coffee dyed even though they're already copies of in it vintage, you know, older, older images. Um, I call them Vora, V-O-R-A. So that could mean they can be vintage, old, retro, or antique. See there? Now I put that one there. That looks nice. Okay, there we go. And uh, I'll probably put something on here. I probably won't put anything Unless I put something on the edge, maybe if I had washi tape or something, maybe I put there. I don't know. I may not, though, because I like to be able to see those images through there. But I might put something on here. And um, we have that one there. And there's that bag that we can put something in there. There's the other half of that sewn page. And then on the back page, we have this. Well, we didn't put anything in that pocket, so maybe I'll put this trivia card in there. Um, you can put a few things in there, whatever you have. And you just keep going back and forth. Okay, so that's the one. And um, then I still have a lot, a lot left to use on my other um, three signatures. Now, actually, I could use one one of those signatures as just using them just as the papers. And um, see, because in here I still have another pocket in there. And I have another pocket in there ready to go on a page. And um, so, yeah, we have a lot more. And um, So let's see, try to keep myself in order here. And I still have all of this. I still have all of these to cut out for fussy cutting. And here is more, here's the scissors, very. These pieces, I won't throw them extra pieces out until I'm finished. Then I may not throw them out. And but all these extra pieces now see because I've only done that one signature but you have enough to do a lot more than that okay and here I have more of these sewn pages to go in the other signatures I have two more pages here of the um uh, those cutouts, okay, and here's this signature, and this signature, and this signature. That may be signatures, or maybe I may. Any one of these papers, now look at here, it says hang around. You might want to cut that out and put that on a page. So any of these pages, you know, you don't have to use them in a signature as pages. You can use those as, um, you can cut pieces out of them and use them as different things. So you have those choices. Now, let's see, what do I have still? Okay, no, so there's my 
these are all my extras I still have for these signatures but then as you can see now these will be sewn together now you can put them in a binder you can put them in some kind of a uh, you can make a cover on these and and when you make a cover on these you don't have to worry about stitching these to the binding um, you can just take a piece of your embroidery floss and you can actually just tie all of these together so if you like say you have the center here and then you go to the next one and you find the center Wait a bit. okay you find the center okay you can take that piece of embroidery floss or anything and just tie it around here just tie it just tie it you know like let me show you let me do this Okay, so I'll get enough string here that will go around. And we'll go into the center of stitch signature number two in the center. And then here it's open to the center of signature number one. And then I can tie, just, just tie it. Just tie it. Simple as that. These things... These can be so, so simple. These are not hard at all. And they don't, you do not, now see, now I have that. So now these two signatures are together. Them two are together. They're together. Um, then if you have this one open, you move that. You go to the third signature and you open that one to the center. Do the same thing, tie it. Then that is that that is con connected, and then you use the as many signatures as you have. And you know what? You don't even really need a cover on here. You can decorate the front. Um, maybe you want to put a whole picture up here or something on the front. You don't have to have a, a binding. And then what you will have in your kit also a um. You will also have a, look at that beautiful card with a unicorn. You will ha have this piece of patchwork ribbon. This was made by a friend. Look how beautiful that is. And you go around with that patchwork ribbon and you just tie it. Now this, see, I... I love this look and so because I love it I just assume that everybody loves it and you can just put that on however you want and that whole thing is together that whole thing is together and this can be your jumbled junk journal no rules no nothing just then look at this little piece of fabric that that was tied together with I could, you know, if you want to stitch things on with a sewing machine, any of that. You just have at it. You do it. And so, see, I have all these pieces now so I can work on those other signatures. And that is exactly what you do. Now I'm going to, I'm going to reach down here and I'm going to find something to read. I'm going to look deeply into tea again. And I'm going to oh. Now, this is here an image of a beautiful lady. She is one who collects tea in another country. See, she's got her tea leaves in her hand. She's in another country. She collects tea. And that's what she does for a living. But then we buy the tea that she collects. And so, along with the picture of her, here it says Shakti. 
In late morning, I feel the touch of the Divine Mother. Her warmth and radiance surround and enter my body. My hand touches hers as I pick the tea leaves. She is in me as I am in her. As I work today, let her face be mine. And look at that beautiful smile on her face. It's just absolutely beautiful. And we learn to love Mother Nature. Mother Nature is out there for us. And it just all we have to do is acknowledge that she is there, Mother Nature. And so I want to ask everybody to um, have a wonderful day. Um, now, I, like I said in the video before this, is I listed the kits that I have. Um, available and what I showed in the kit was actually this one here that I took apart and I am seeing that once I put this together that maybe I need to add a few more things so um, I will add a few more things to the kit as I'm putting them together and so that you'll have you'll have plenty to work with when you build your journal and I will absolutely love seeing your um your journals as you make them I've already sold one and I'm very happy for that that helps us out so much Papa and I appreciate it and I want to just say God bless you may he watch every step you take every move you make and I will see you on the next video God bless